uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so today uh, we will be solving this interview question okay and uh, this question can be asked in your uh, online assessment test as well okay so we can see that uh, this is a uh, like mos based circuit there are we can see that two two p mos and three n mos okay and uh, this type of circuit can be solved uh, by using uh, pass pass transistor logic okay so we know that for a pass transistor logic let's say for a uh, n mos okay let's say this is n mos okay so this is our vg and let's say this is our vd then what should be the voltage at this node let's say there is a parasitic cap okay then what should be the value at steady state the vs value so we directly write that the vx uh, vs will be the vd right but here we have assumed that vgs is greater than vtn of this n mos okay so to write the complete expression uh, the 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 vs will be equal to the minimum of minimum of vgs minus vtn comma vd so the minimum of these two will be our final steady state voltage okay and these two condition uh, comes from id equals 0 right actually id becomes 0 when the vds becomes 0 or oh, that means the vd equal to vs and when the vgs is less than vtn right so from these two condition we arrived in this conclusion okay and similarly for pmos the condition will be like this right let's say this is our s let's say this is our vs this is our vg and this is our vd so the vd will be nothing but the minimum of vsg minus mod of vtp comma vs okay so this this is the final conclusion so now solve this question so here we have vdd as 5 volt mod of vtp is 0 0.9 volt and uh, our vtn is 0 0.8 volt now we can see that uh, in this figure for to find the uh, voltage at node a we, we can see that directly the vsg is always greater than the mod of vtp right for for this pmos right then we can directly use the pass transistor logic so this vdd voltage will reach here let's say here is a uh, parasitic cap okay so the the a the node a will charge uh, up to 5 volt right so our va is 5 volt so we can directly say that this condition is always hold okay but when the uh, like this capacitor charge to 5 volt then the id becomes zero okay so our the like uh, in this case in this case this con uh, this condition is meeting okay so if we have 5 volt here so we can see that and the gate of this nmos is also 5 volt right so we can directly treat this node as drain of this mosfet let's say m on okay so we have uh, 5 volt at drain of a n mos and we have gate uh, with 5 volt okay then what should the value of v, like vv like the let's say this is our source right let's say vs1 so we can see that and again we are assuming air is a parasitic cap okay so actually the capacitor is charges uh, from zero voltage and the all the parasitics are initially zero okay like initial condition is zero we assume that so actually this capacitor uh, is charging and is when it charges to four volt what happens we we can see that the vgs vgs is becomes uh, this is five minus four right so this becomes one now if go, it is if it goes four point one right then it becomes four uh, one point one vgs so it becomes uh, sorry okay Th this will be okay L okay so let's say this this point goes to four point two okay four point two so what is the vsg vgs so this will be nothing but five minus four point two this is zero point eight right but if it goes four point three so then the vgs becomes zero point seven so this is less than the vtn of this nmos so the mosfet becomes off 
so it cannot the the this cell cannot be charged more than 4.2 volt okay like it is charging from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and when it reaches to 4.2 volt the id becomes zero okay so it cannot be charged more than 4.2 okay so it cannot charge 5 voltage okay so we can find that va is our 5 volt and vv is our 4.2 volt okay actually in this in, for this mosfet this condition is happening right we can see that this condition now for uh, okay for uh, for this let's say this is m2 okay so this is the similar condition right but here we have now 4.2 voltage right okay uh, yes yes so we have here is 4.2 volt and here we have 5 volt now uh, what should be the value at node c let's say here is also a present a capacitor so now we can see that if the capacitor is charges to let's say on uh, 0 to 1 volt to 2 volt and it reaches to 4.2 so which condition is satisfying so if our let's say now these two potentials are same right this b and c so if our vg is 5 volt then our vs is 0 0.8 uh, 4.2 volt right so our 0 0.8 is equal to let's say 0 0.8 volt of this vtn right so this this mosfet can charge like the this cl can be charged up to 4.2 volt okay so in this case in this case this condition is happening okay this condition is meeting okay so we can see that this voltage is also 4.2 so here we can directly use the pass transistor logic actually this case is happening right let's say here we have 5 volt and here we have 5 volt so we know that directly this voltage will be at 5 volt okay okay not not let so this will be let's say uh, uh, so this will be let's say 4.2 volt and if we have uh, 0. 0. 0.8 is the vtn so this uh, uh, this uh, like this uh, uh, all voltages this 4.2 voltages reach here okay so this case is happening here now we can see that the vc is 4.2 as well okay now we can see that there is a inverter okay this is a inverter structure so you can analyze as an inverter or what i am doing you can follow follow it okay so if this is 4.2 and this is our 5 volt so what is the vsg now so our v this is our vs right the higher potential higher potential node is the vs of this pmos so our vs v okay vsg is our nothing but 5 minus our vg is 4.2 right so we can see that this is 0 0.8 and it is less than our mod of vtp okay right so this mosfet is not turning on okay so this is off so then what would be the uh, reduced picture so we can see that this c is nothing but our 4.2 then this mosfet is off okay so this mosfet is off and here we can see that the vg is vgs is nothing but our uh, 5 uh, okay uh, 4.2 4.2 minus 0 so this is 4.2 so this is very very greater than our uh, vtn right so this n mos is now turned on right so we, the reduced picture will be uh, like this okay this is our vdd and this is our short circuit so this is our v out and the short circuit path is uh, connected to this ground so this will be ground so you can see that this ground reach to there so zero voltage will be our final v out we know that right and we know that if if there is a higher voltage of inverter then we we get the lower voltage at the output node okay so basically in this case in this case this pmos is off and this nmos is on so this zero voltage is this there okay pulling down the node to the zero voltage so we have find that so this is our answer right v a equal to 5 volt v v equal to 4.2 volt v c equal to 4.2 volt and our v d will be our zero voltage okay so this is the final answer so this is a very good question okay so if you like our video you can share with your friends and uh, uh, and please give your valuable feedbacks okay thank you